It's a need in our community for a universal change. And it has to start with the man. That's what I was saying. Means being a man possessed of the knowledge, the spirit, and the power of God, anointed to do His will. See, we're taught in our work how the uh, world looks at us as, as enemies. You know, you see what's happening in the Baltimore. They're like, oh, there's criminals, you know, throwing rocks, blowing up uh, stores, you know, crimes. You know, they're looking at, uh, it's like they're looking at a fire, right? But they're not looking at how the fire was caused. They're not looking at the root of something that's been happening for 400, 500 years. Police brutality didn't start last week. It didn't start last year. That's been going on for 40, 50. That's been going on before our grandmothers were born. Now what's being happening is social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, is basically putting everything on live. Because see, young people back in the day and still today don't watch, we don't watch the news. How many of y'all watch the news? Alright, cool. We got three people in here watching the news, alright? Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Nobody wanna watch the movie. We on Facebook, we on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? We on our cell phone. Trying to shoot a tech the shorty and everything, you know. I know how it is. But um like my brother was saying, um all of us are our brotherhood and nation of Islam. You know, so when we come, we're very organized because we're taught that the black man is God and that each of us are brothers. You know, and that's something that they don't teach us in school. You want to hold so steady? We learn about our history. They go about 20 years back, you know, while we were in slavery. And nobody want to learn. Who want to learn about y'all being in slavery? Y'all want to learn about that? Yeah. I'm sorry. Probably my wife. Anybody, who want to learn about y'all being in slavery? Do y'all want to learn more about what y'all did? other than being under somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. Which I now want to learn more about you than 400 years ago. Yes. Yeah. But if I told you that, if we could teach you something that you did a thousand years ago, yes. or four thousand years ago, yes. six trillion years ago, 66 trillion, see we've been here since the beginning of time. That's right. There is no beginning to the black. The black man has been here forever. You go back to Egypt, you look at them statues, they got broad noses, they dark, they uh, are skin complexion, you know what I'm saying? They got thick ears, thick noses, thick lips. We know they ain't no Caucasian man. That's a black man. That's a warrior. Right we were brought over here four to five hundred years ago. We were taught their language, English. We were taught in this. One. See, we couldn't read books sixty, seventy years ago. They caught us reading a book uh, a couple hundred years ago. They'll kill us. And then they'll kill the one that was teaching us how to read. That's right. Why was that for? <coughs> Why would they kill us if they found us reading a book and kill the one that was teaching us? Because they knew that once we got a level of knowledge, that we'll be on top of civilization. How many of y'all know Malcolm X? Okay, cool. Anybody know what he did? Anybody know who he was a part of? He was a part of the nation of Islam. He taught black power, freedom, justice, equality, unity, economics, 
that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to teach you how to make money the proper way. We try to teach you how to love your brother. That's See, true. why is it that every time you hear about crime, it's a black man killing one, one another for some shoes, you know what I'm saying? Go for ahead. a cell phone. How you gonna kill your brother over some shoes? Shoes cost how much? How much on the new phones called the Jordans? Two, three hundred dollars? Right. So you, you pick up a, some of us pick up a gun, you see somebody, you got some nice kicks on his feet, you go smack him in the pistol, we shoot him for some two hundred dollar shoes. Or an iPhone. How much is an iPhone? Six. <laughs> Forty-five dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just being real. But I know right. Southeast ain't don't got that much money. Now I'm not saying go rob the white boy, but we go up. But there's no West. They got clothes on that's way more expensive than we got. That's true. They got cars when they 15. They, they got a Mercedes Benz when they in high school. Mm. You go to April, it's clean. You know what I'm saying? They not smacking each other upside the head. They not killing one another. Why is it that we are doing that for? See, we don't like ourselves. Why don't we not like it? You see your brother, you look at him as his, he's your enemy. Oh, I'm a part of, I'm, I'm no, I'm South. Okay, well, I'm a part of this, I'm a part of that set. Oh, I'm a I'm blood, I'm a crip. But y'all all black. You say you own a neighborhood. For one, you don't own nothing. You pay, uh, some of us are paying rent because the enemy owns all that. That's his territory. We don't own none of that. That's his territory. We're paying rent. And some of us don't even have it. Our parents are working like slaves to pay what they got. So with the armaments was far what he's trying to do, he's bringing black brothers and sisters together, man, teaching them the knowledge of self. How far we go back 76 years ago, <clears throat> teaching that the black man is God, that we're brothers, you know what I'm saying, that we should love one another. Love might sound like some a little pussy word to y'all, but it's love is the most powerful force there is. Come on. Because when you love, man, love casts out fear. See, I love God. I don't need it, guys. Somebody walk up to me and I hope, I hope, oh, I hope they shoot me. <laughs> I hope, but, but even then, I hope they don't shoot. Yeah. I'm gonna pray to Allah that He don't kill them because I understand that they're ignorant. I don't need a gun, man. Police officers know what it is when they come to the FOI, man. That's right. They know what it is, man. That's right. You know, I want to explain something to your attention, young oh, brother. This is so y'all guys saw yesterday's <laughs> thing that happened in in Baltimore. I'm saying you made mention of social media mm -hmm. and the power. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna make mention of the power of the fruit of Islam. Now, the reports and the media, you know Fox News, CNN, they do not support certain material. They sure don't support the ideology and the ideology of the, of the nation of Islam. They made reference on TV that the, the, there's Muslim uh, brothers in the, in the community. They said uh, they, this, they, they, need, they, they, they look like they're from the nation of Islam. This was one of the reporters. He said, it looks like they're from the Nation of Islam, they're gathering, and you can tell by their suits and their bow ties. Now, this is the live report coming across. Never did the cameras go and show you, but instantly, what was happening in the community. I, now, I wasn't there, but when they said it, and they said the presence of the fruit was there, all of a sudden, there was no more bottles being thrown. <laughs> there was no more the point buildings catching on fire, right? The, the crowd started to subside and started to move back, right? Mm -hmm. Now, why? Because game recognizes game, isn't that right? Don't we say that all the time? Game recognizes game. When you saw the game lined up in front of you, you started to say, okay, well, what we are, what we fighting for, for real? So what happens is the, 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 the media, the social network, will not give you the power deserved. This is why you got to take it and earn it. This is why they don't have to tell us and not show that the president, because now then all of our political uh, individuals started to come out. And then you started to see this group. Now, they showed you 20 minutes of a brother who was a, a, a ex-Vietnam uh, war, and all he did was stood in front of the police. But the, the, the reality is, and this is not to convert you into Islam. Exactly. Because Mr. Mitchell's a Christian, right? But I love God. And if you want to say I'm a racist, I am that because I love my people, right? So when I go and on Sunday, I might be going to church. And Rima said, Mitch, the minister Farrakhan at the church, I turned around, I ended up at the mosque. So now my life goes, all right? I was going to church that day, but I'm going to see the brother, the minister. When you see me come in here, I'm the same way every day. I'm the same thing every day for you guys and to God. show you continuity and steadfastness. But when I bring in my friends, this is going to show you that you could be diverse. And everything ain't a game. 
Our life ain't a game. You know what I mean? And we are, at, we, they, we are being hunted right now. So it's imperative that we bring in people so that we can show you how to be armed and so that you can be even more dangerous than what you already are. Right. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to be a few more minutes. But basically, what he was saying, you know, they don't show the positivity that we have as a mm -hmm. brother. You know, so they want to show the crime we do. They want to show the explosives and everything. But they're not showing that they're not putting black positive people in suits. And just not, it's not because I'm Muslim. No, it ain't about that. It's about the love that I have for my brothers and my sisters. You know what I'm saying? We don't respect ourselves because we don't really know ourselves. You know, I mean, if you look at media right now, who are all the people making money that's black? You know, Lil Wayne, Meek Mill, Drake, you know what I'm saying? All the actors, but what are they rapping about? Sex, drugs, money. Don't y'all think something ain't right here? You know what I'm saying? You go to 99.5, the white stations, and I'm not being raised, I'm just being real. They re they talking about something else uh, on a whole other level, you know what I'm saying? They talking about the mind and success. We talking about sitting on the corner, pushing work, you know what I'm saying? Trap queen, you know what I'm saying? Living in a trap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Busting this nigga, chewing him up, you know, gang, like, right. what is that going to get us in life, man? We're going to hit a dead or in jail. Y'all want to live that life. Y'all want to stay on the corner? You know, so I was 16 before I knew how it was, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm <laughs> on, like, my first call, I was texting short, and like, hey, your mom, hey, let's get it, I got called, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never, I, was, I, I held a gun, I never shot it, I never shoot shot nobody. God, I, I was raised Muslim, but as a teenager, there was a lot of misunderstanding that I had of myself. So I never hated my brother. We fought, but I never was going to shoot. I knew I wasn't going to shoot my brother or kill one of my brothers. I fought my brothers and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was out partying, I was out drinking, I was out smoking weed, I was out, you know, <laughs> moving with the people that put the words and all that. But I knew enough sense that I said, man, I ain't going to pitch my gun and shoot my mans. Because even though we beefing, at the end of the day, it's my brother still. At the end of the day, nobody else is going to come up and speak for y'all. Like your brother will. There's nobody coming into our community. There's nobody listening to us. Everybody hates us. Everybody looks down at us. But ourselves. We gotta learn how to um, lift one another up. And look, I wanna um, go by saying this. Um, I'm gonna bring my. Oh yeah. I'm gonna um, bring my brother back on in a second, and he's gonna um, basically ask you some questions. Well, I'm gonna start by saying this. Look, if y'all have a dream or something y'all wanna do in life, man, y'all can do whatever y'all want. Whether that's be a millionaire, you know what I'm saying, be a teacher, be a doctor. Don't look at this world and get blind for it, man, because this is all a trap. It's all a dream. They want y'all to kill each other. How the guns get in our neighborhoods? The enemy is he's the uh, number one arms dealer in the world. He's the number one drug dealer in the world. How the work get in the neighborhood? How the how alcohol, so why is it that the black community has uh, the number one, uh, we have alcohol, basically got alcohol store in every uh, corner. We have more alcohol stores and drug stores than we do churches. How is that? You know, why is our community the only dirty community? You don't see um, the Caucasian or his friends going around shooting one another, put some shoes and killing one another. We got to really wake up, man, and see what's going on, man. And whatever y'all want to do, man, y'all can team up together, man. Y'all have bright ideas. But, like, I, got a, I got a millionaire on my line right now on my phone. And he grew up in the Bronx. He, he, said, he said the only difference between someone who went to Harvard, who was a, who was a lawyer or a doctor, and someone who's on the corner right now is opportunity. There was, there's no opportunity in our neighborhood. So, but a person, if you can, if you can move work and you can put together a, a gang or something, you want to tell a lawyer. You can do all that stuff if you have the opportunity. So like I said, man, um, y'all just uh, keep keep it, right. man. Real quick, they're about to do a demonstration for y'all. We're going to ask a few questions uh, um, just before we get started. Now, anybody know what a Muslim is? Can any of you all put some Muslim, my brother? Do okay, you know? I, I mean, I heard about it. I don't know the true definition. Of it, right. You hear Muslim all the time. Yeah. Do anybody know what a Muslim is? I know you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you a question. What does that know what a Muslim, Muslim is? A Muslim say. is one who submits his will to do the will of God. Period. Yeah. So the Ambalai Muhammad taught us that the black man was Muslim by nature, whether he knows it or not. He said he has a nature that makes him want to do what's right. Whenever he does something wrong, his nature bothers him to say, why you do that? You know that wasn't right. Why you, why you do that? That's your nature. That's Islam. Okay? So don't let nobody divide you like Mitch said. We don't divide ourselves because Ambalai Muhammad said a good Christian is a good Muslim. That's right. You understand? Right. Good the whole way don't matter. The black man is Muslim by nature. It's his nature that's to submit to the will of God. Anybody in here pray? Yeah. yeah. Anybody in here pray? You pray? Yeah. You pray? We said then your prayer. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Why you say amen? I don't know. Why you say amen? I don't know. I'm Good question. That's beautiful. You said you ever heard of the great guy Amin Ra? 
the black man of Egypt, he united upper and lower Egypt. He brought, the whole Egypt. he brought all humanity. He was worshipped as Lord on the earth. Brother levitate everything. Everybody saw him as Lord on the earth. And then guess what? If you don't praise his name, you don't praise that black man's name at the end of your prayer, your prayer don't get answered. This is who you are. But yet, they, like Brother Marcus said, they're not going to give you that history. So we're here to give you all that history. As he said, we can take you back. All right? So don't let nobody say, hey, man, I don't want to be on with no bull time, man. It ain't even about that. We're not promoting no, no religion. If your mother taught you five plus two get you to seven, his mom taught him four plus three to get him to seven. My mom taught me six plus one to get me seven. We're going to come here and argue about how to get to seven. <laughs> don't make sense, do it. All right? So we all here as one body. So with that, uh, we're going to bring our brothers on. We're going to show a quick demonstration. And then from there, we're going to have the brothers drill. And if y'all have any questions for Brother Gerard or Brother Marcus, don't hesitate. Just raise your hand and ask the brothers a question. There's plenty of answers. The answers is here for you. Yes, sir, real quick. Okay, um, why y'all don't like ham? Why we don't like ham? We don't. Uh, that's, uh, that's a beautiful question. question. We don't. You know, Did you hear what that's you said? a beautiful question. Yeah. There's, a, there's the pig, right? Well, if you notice, no Christian. In the Bible, the pig been cursed over and over again in the Bible. In the Torah, he's cursed over and over again in the Bible. So no Jew is supposed to eat pork. No Christian is supposed to eat pork. In the Holy Quran, it's cursed over and over again. The pig is a cursed animal. It's 666 diseases carried in the hall. Okay? He carries what they call a trichina worm. These are microscopic worms. If you look at the piece of pork under your microscope, you'll see that it, all these millions and millions of trichina worms. He's one big nest of trichina worms. And guess what? These trichina worms get down into your system and then they develop into an adult trichina and they travel through your blood and set up in your joints. So after a while, you see how people getting fat ankles, fat ankles, and they start talking about they got arthritis. Arthritis didn't have nothing to do with his hogitis. You follow me? That's from that pig, them trichina worms, when you eat, they eat. That's why we don't eat pig because it's cursed. You'll see in the book of Genesis, uh, and also in Isaiah, Leviticus, you'll see where God cursed the hog. He of the swine flesh, though he be cursed, he of the swine flesh. This is how it's pre presented in the Bible real quick. Though he cheweth, though he be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of his carcass shall you not, uh, of his carcass shall you not touch. And of his flesh shall you not eat. This is your Bible. So, like I said, Christians ain't supposed to eat pork either. They try to make it a Muslim thing. No Christians supposed to eat pork. No Jews supposed to eat pork. No Muslim eat pork. It's a cursed animal. So why, 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 well, guess what? That's a good question. Do you know today, really, in the teaching of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you ain't supposed to be no fat Muslim. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We're dealing with an enemy who put all types of uh, 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 injections. It, right. it don't have to be pork. He'll give you, he'll give you a regular uh, cake. Don't eat bread. You can eat something not, whole. It's not real food. But guess what? It's, it tastes good. All of our veg, even our vegetables have That's been poisoned with injections. You got all kinds of chemicals <laughs> that are inflating the flesh. So this is what we're dealing with: a chemical, a biological uh, warfare with an enemy. That's a beautiful question. Uh, so we can eat something wholesome. And guess what? You'll still begin to your flesh. Your flesh will still begin to inflate. Some people's systems are different. Their, chem, their biological uh, chemistry is different. So they may have a little metabolism in you. They can eat something and it automatically puts weight on you. Well, you can eat it and it go right out. So just because you see a Muslim that may have some weight, don't mean that he eating pork. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Any other questions, John? Uh, yeah. Any other questions? And then we're going to come back to questions. Because one of the things, I, you know, I want to question all of us is our role as man and, and like in, in life, like the hierarchy of life is God, man, woman, child, right? And the question was asked, how many of you guys do you pray? And this was a prime example on where, how we are lost from the beginning of the, 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 the architectural design because we don't even have... God in our lives. We believe in God. You know, you call on God when you're in trouble, oh my God, right? You call on him when something ain't going right, but are you doing God's work? And see, you know, you are the reason I come in here every day because I know <coughs> that you are 1,000% our future. And that the things that the brothers on the corner are not talking to you about, 
It's my job to fill in that gap. That's why you fight me so much, but you come here every day. You show me the raw, the negative part all day, every day, but you make sure we see it every day. And all I kind of do is just try to smooth off these rough ashlers. You, you know, you're like a rough rock. We're just trying to chisel off them rough edges. You know, we use the word of love, right? Peace, and, and I'm going to leave you with this. Peace and love are two, listen up, are two of your most powerful words in language. Peace, spiritual word, love, a physical word. Anything in your, all your life, all you want in life is peace. Peace in my neighborhood, peace in my heart, peace in my family, right? But love, if anything that you ever say I love is taken away from you, your body will break down. If, you, if I took you away from me, you would cry. If I, you love your mother, if I, you love that simple iPad, if I took it away, you're going to react. Right? So love, peace and love, is a, is, you know, it's a physical word, a spiritual word, physical word. And those are only two words that you need to be focused on in, in life. So when you use that word, you use that with compassion. Okay, so with that, we're going to bring you back on. Do y'all have any more questions? Okay, Marcos. Marcos. That is well, video I, I think you should show the video and then show it to So take, take, All right, take a look at this video, just show a small clip, and then we're going to get it on. Then we're going to jam. Then we're going to jam. Yeah, we're going to do some things. Oh. 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 Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Chairs out the way. I'm gonna get y'all all four. Slide these over, guys. Slide these over. Slide these over. Let's push it to the point. Let's get them all to the top. Losing it down that lane. Come on, come on. 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 Of discipline as being united as one unit. We can't fight nobody <laughs> separate. We can only fight when we come in as one unit. Right? Yes. Here we go. What's up, team? Grab a seat, brother. Ain't no flash on this count. Ain't no flash on this count. Who's right? Face. One step forward. Wow. Left, face, close to the moves, dress right, dress. Ready, run. How's the fruit, box, sir? How's the fruit, box, sir? sir? Food is the what? The best, sir. Food is the what? The best, sir. sir. Now, we taught that drill is the foundation of disciplinary training. That's right. It compels the habit of obedience and stimulates the desire for cooperative strength as a unit moving together as one. That's right. Oh yeah, thank you. Right? Faith! Now we snap our heads first because you can't move where you can't see. That's right. So we look before we move. Faith. Left. Face. Left. Face. Left. Face. Right. Face. Left. Face. Right. Face. Left. Face. Left. Face. Left. Face. How the fruit? Fuck, sir. Fruit. Walk time. Oh, yo there. Yo there. Oh, la la what? La la what? Muhammad al Rasulullah. Muhammad al Rasulullah. Rock man Rahim. Rock man Rahim. Bismillah Rahman. Bismillah Rahman. Yo left flank, mom. Yo left flank, mom. Yo left flank, mom. Yo left flank, mom. There's a time for peace. There's a time for peace. There's a time for war. There's a time for war. Hear the God. Hear the God, hear the God, hear the God. Knocking at your door, knocking at your door. We be the F O Y, we be the F O Y. Till the day we die, till the day we die, till the day we die, till the day we die. Far come, 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 far come. Yo left flank march, yo left flank march. Double left flank march, yo left flank march. Fruit hop. 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 F
straight right face. Yes, sir. How's the fruit? Fine, sir. Fruit close and it was dressed right. Dress. You taught if you mess up ketchup. That's right. <clears throat> Ready front. Mark time. Mama. Ways to the red, watch my 